right, so as you can see, here is the inside of BoxyCharm this month, and all of them are full-size products, which is awesome. You always get full or very deluxe size samples in BoxyCharm for $21 a month. It is an amazing deal, and I'm so impressed with BoxyCharm so far. So let's go ahead and check out each individual item. This first item is from Your Minerals, and it is a transparent veil setting powder. The full size is $26, and obviously everything in this box this month is full size. I think transparent powders are awesome to use for setting your concealer, and I actually use it um, all over my face to put on after my foundation. The silky texture just does something that I can't explain, and it really does minimize pores and fine lines and just really sets your makeup very well. So I definitely recommend if you have never tried transparent powders, um, they're really silky and soft to the touch and I really do like them. I actually have two other eyeshadows that I got in another subscription box from this brand and I do really like this brand. I think they're a little bit pricey for what the size is, but they're really comparable to other like mineral um, products and pigments and powders and eyeshadows and everything. So yeah, I was really excited um, to get another product from this brand. This next item is from Gorge and it's called I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. The full size is $30 and even though this is only four ounces, it says it's full size, so we're gonna go with that. But it literally smells amazing. It smells like pina colada with a splash of coconut. It's definitely very summer and tropical, which is awesome. And I really love leave-in conditioner sprays. Um, I'm not so much of a texture kind of spray because I already have a ton of texture as you can see in my hair, but um, I really like leave-in conditioners because my hair just gets unruly because it's so long and frizzy. So I already tried this. I really like it. It's a really great product. This next item is from Ofra Cosmetics and this is a universal eyebrow pencil and it is full size and the retail is $13. And I actually have used this already and I've had it in some other subscription boxes, and I think it's a great eyebrow pencil. I really think that Ofra Cosmetics are a little bit um, unmentioned because they're really great priced and they're really great products. So I was really excited to get this, and I used it actually on my eyebrows today, and I think it did a pretty good job. It um, is not as soft as some other eyebrow pencils that I've used, but I think it will work for all eyebrow hair colors and I think it goes on really smooth and it makes my eyebrows look good, so that's all that matters, right? This next item is from Vasanti Professional and it is a blush brush and it does retail for $29 and it is full size and I think it's really great quality made wise, but I don't think that it's the right size for blush, unfortunately. Um, I do think that it would work for either contouring, but the bristles are actually really soft, so I'm not sure how that would work. I actually want to use it um, for highlighting. I think that this will be the perfect brush um, for that and the perfect size. The bristles are very high quality and really soft and they're dense yet a soft kind of texture. Um, they do not shed, which is awesome because you know in my last, last month's unboxing, the Bella Pierre um, Kabuki brush shed a little bit. So I was really excited to get this. I love getting brushes and trying out different brands and I have heard of this. I believe that Vasanti is a skincare line. I've gotten actually um, in a subscription box this month, I've gotten a product from Vasanti. So yeah, I think it's a great quality brush and I'm definitely gonna be using it for my highlighter. This last item is from MDM Flow and this is the Greater Than Mascara. The full size when it releases in the US exclusively through BoxyCharm is $35. Currently it is 21 pounds. But there's been a lot of controversial um, issues surrounding this mascara. I think it is so expensive, even for a luxury um, mascara. This tube, this gold packaging is so beautiful. But honestly, the formula and all the controversy that's been surrounding this, I definitely don't think that it's a $35 mascara. And BoxyCharm, I'm sorry, but I really wanted to voice my own opinion on this. And they, um, about a week ago, I got an email saying exclusively um, directions on how to properly prime this mascara, which I've never heard of doing on a mascara before. And it's a big no-no in my book and every beauty person's book to pump your mascara. So what I mean by that is the instructions was saying to take the wand out, put it back in, shake it, which I've done, 
take it back out and pump it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, then screw it, put the brush back in, and then you're supposed to have a lot more product on your brush. Well, yes, that did work, and I'm not gonna do it again to show you because it's putting so much air into the mascara, and honestly, it's putting bacteria, it's putting foreign matter, and you're putting that on your eyes and on your eyelashes. Not on your eyeballs, obviously, but your eyelashes, and that is a big no-no to do. All right, guys, that's everything for my July BoxyCharm. I hope you enjoyed watching. I think that it's a great deal for $21, and even though there was a bit of controversy with that mascara, I still think that it was a great deal, and I'm absolutely still in love with BoxyCharm. If you'd like to subscribe to BoxyCharm, please go ahead and use my link down below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. There is a giveaway coming up soon in the next two weeks, so be sure to check that out. All right, thanks, guys. Bye!